Hi, it's the Lipstick Owl. Thank you so much for watching today. And today's video is if I could only keep 10 eyeshadow palettes. I did not do it before this exact moment, but I just counted how many eyeshadow palettes I have. Now I might be missing one or two, but I have 106 eyeshadow palettes. That does not include my eyeshadow singles. That includes actual pre-made palettes. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh my goodness. All right. So if I could only keep 10, if I could only keep 10, that's what we're doing today. That means that I would ha have to cut this collection down by more than 90%. Oh, oh, that would be brutal. But these are the 10. I, I've thought about this. I've gone through my collection. I've looked at everything. I know that being um, the person that I am and being a woman, I can change my mind at any time. <laughs> I would give myself freedom for that. But I have been living with this little list of 10 eyeshadow palettes here for more than a week. Um, I, I made it immediately after my, if I could only keep 10 lipsticks, I will link that for you here. But I specifically, like, what was my first initial, yes, these are the 10. And then I went through, no, I think I'd rather this one. And so I've kind of really thought about it and I've really looked at it. And I've also looked at which ones have gotten the most use and the ones that bring me the most joy. Those are the ones that are in here. So some things to keep in mind. First of all, my fair skin doesn't deal really well with really dark, heavy, well, I don't think I look good in dark and heavy eyeshadow, so that's not my preference. You're not gonna see a lot of that here. Um, you're also going to see eyeshadows that play well on my 48 year old eyelids. I definitely, the older I get, I want something where the mattes as well as the more metallic shades are just gonna look pretty. And I feel like all of these check that box. On top of that, I have a very specific makeup aesthetic. Part of it is the shape of the eye I have. Part of it is my own personal comfort zone on how to apply makeup. Um, I feel sometimes like I get stuck in an application rut. I always apply you know, might maybe different colors, but I always apply them for a very similar look. That's just my personal aesthetic and that's totally fine. But let's talk about these. All right, so the first one was one that I picked up last year. Now it's not the first time I've tried this formula, but it's this specific palette that just is magnificent. And it's from M Cosmetics. This is the Divine Skies eyeshadow, and this is in Rodin. This is part of the Masterpiece Collection. It's their lightest, neutral eyeshadow palette. This is, okay, everything I want. First of all, she's small, she's compact. I like that all of the other ones, they all come in this packaging, but they're different colors on the exterior, so you know which one you're grabbing for. You don't have to look at the sticker on the back. Second of all, I get three mattes and three shimmers, and I'm getting exactly what I'm looking for right now, which is kind of like a pink leaning matte. Um, a lighter mid-tone brown and this nice deeper but not too dark brown because sometimes if things get too dark on my fair skin I look like I get punched in the eye and then some really pretty metallic shades I mean look at how these shine they're just stunning sorry about the small bruise on the back of my hand but these are all the matte shades and these are all the metallics I love this one here as a one shadow look I love this one as a one shadow look. Sometimes I'll pair two of these together. Sometimes I'll go for three of these together. Sometimes I'll use the whole palette. But my favorite thing about these is that they stay all day. Now, I am notorious for telling you I don't wear an eyeshadow primer. I don't. And I love a formula that doesn't need extra hand holding. No priming. Um, it wears well all day. It doesn't settle into the crease. It doesn't have a ton of fallout. If I load my brush up or my finger up, I am, but I did that to myself, okay? I'm not gonna count that against this. But these blend beautifully. They last really well, like from the beginning of the day when I get my makeup on at seven in the morning until I wash my face at night. Um, it's not like exactly the same, but I can go a whole work day. By the time I'm home at 5.30 or 6 for dinner, my eyes still look like I just did them. I feel like th the formula is really nice. I don't have oily eyelids, which is why I can get away without using an eyeshadow primer. But when you do use these with a the primer, they last even longer. But these are the exact sorts of shades that I like, and I really like this formula. Definitely one of the ones that I was like, can't live without. The next palette that I really love and was like, I don't think I could live without is this little beauty from Wayne Goss. This is the Pearl palette. 
Um, I really like Wayne's packaging. I like how small and thin they are. Um, I like that we're getting very generous sized pans. I like that we have a variety of formulas. We have a celestial shade. We have some mattes. We have a more metallic shade in here, but this kind of cooler color story is really great, but it also has a little bit of warmth. I, this is for me probably one of my favorite easy gotta go eyeshadows. Another one that I can use without primer that looks good, but let me show you some swatches. Here are the shades. This one here is so close to my skin tone, it's really hard to see, but this is a matte. These two here are mattes, and this one is matte. Here is the Celestial. Look how that shines. And this one here is just a metallic, but this is such a pretty, pretty eyeshadow palette. This has just enough cool with the gray and kind of the cooler toned pink shade, but then it has warmth with this brown, this Celestial, and this shade here. I love wearing this. And the other thing is every time I wear this palette and I tap the Celestial over the top, I have people literally asking me, what are you wearing on your eyes today? Your eyeshadow is so pretty. I always get compliments when I wear this. I love this palette. This is probably my favorite Wayne Goss palette. I know it's frequently out of stock on Beautylish because people just love it. Out of all the palettes I have in here, this is the biggest one. And I almost didn't put it in because of how big it is. If you didn't already know, I prefer a smaller, more curated color story. The minute you give me 30 eyeshadows or even 20 eyeshadows, I can get overwhelmed. But this one works really well for me despite the fact that it has 16 shades in it and it's the Nabla Nude Side-by-Side -side Palette. I picked this up last spring kind of on a whim. It was on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty and I fell in love. I wore this nonstop for work, probably like a month and a half solid. I work three days a week. And the fact that I was wearing the same eyeshadow palette for six to seven weeks running, I was like, who am I? What? I love this palette. I still find myself reaching for this, um, not just for days when I want a neutral look, but if I want some drama or I want something cool, I love that this has cool options. It has warm options. The metallics in here are beautiful. Let me show you some swatches. This is the top row. The one thing that's great about this is the mattes, they blend really well. Um, I do find that these metallic shades here have a little bit of sparkle fallout if I pick them up with my finger and I'm pressing them on and I'm not careful how I do that. There can be some sparkle fallout, but I love these Nabla mattes. They're so fantastic. Let me just show you a few of my favorite shades. Look at these. Uh, this matte right here is one of my favorites because it's not a black. There is a black in here and I do use the black sometimes for liner, but I like a shade like this on my fair skin where I get some depth. I get a little bit of smoke, but it's not too much. I also like that this matte is cool leaning. I love this shade right here. I use this as a one shadow shade all the time and these kind of warmer, um, more bronzy tones. I mean, they're, they're just stunning. This palette can do so much. I, I find that it is one of those, and you can tell by the fact that there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> My fingers get in there. The one thing you will notice is that there's a little bit of like sparkle going on around the edges. This is one of those where I feel like the textures of some of these definitely can be a little flaky. You can see, um, I feel like I might be just a little bit more careful with these metallics than some other ones, but they last really well without an eyeshadow primer. They blend beautifully without a primer. Um, they're just glorious. And I was worried that, oh, it's too many shades. 16 is too many for me. I'm gonna start, you know, the problem I have is you give me 16 shades and I'm gonna wanna wear all of them. Oh, this one's pretty and this one's pretty. And the next thing you know, I have a really muddy, kind of overworked eye look. And it's easy in here because I go, okay, am I going cool or am I going warm? All right, if I'm going uh, cool shades, which ones am I using? I'll use these guys and this or the whole bottom row. If I'm going warm, sometimes I'll pick like a lighter mid-tone brown and then pick in something warm like this and lay a metallic over the lid. It's just super easy for me um, to look at this and decide cool, warm, and I like that this palette has both. I feel like this palette has endless options and this is the palette that I would pay full price for, but I love that I got it for half off. 
I love this cashmere palette. <laughs> Viseart makes one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas, and I have a lot of Viseart. Um, this is one of my favorite sizes. Even though there are 12 shadows in here, I like how compact the entire package is. I also like that we have like two different halves to this palette. Um, this right here, these six pans were the original cashmere theory palette. Um, and it was a, a palette that had six pans in it. They were exactly the size, exactly these shades. They no longer make the theory size. Some people still have them. They're really nice palettes, but I like that they expanded to give us a little bit more. And the nice thing is you're not just so that you use these six or use these six, you can actually mix and match across the way. Um, I love that we get some depth and darkness here without it being a black. And you can see there's a little line on the side. I will dampen a liner brush and use this is liner and it works beautifully and perfectly. The metallics in here, oh my goodness, they are stunning. I mean, look at these, look at how lovely they are. The mattes blend with no issue. This is one of those brands that I feel like I can trust the formula. They don't need an eyeshadow primer, they blend beautifully. The, some of the most easy, effortless looks comes from this palette. This is definitely one of my faves. This next palette really surprises me. The quality is amazing and she's affordable. She's a drugstore palette and I'm talking about the Desert Lights. Now, you might be thinking, now wait, we only have shimmers in here. This is not a standalone palette. Eh, depends on the sort of makeup where you are. I wear shades like this on their own all the time, but this formula is so beautiful like just feeling it as i'm rubbing my fingers over it look how metallic they are they're stunning but on top of that you're also getting um, a really beautiful kind of creamy feel i mean they're 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 just magnificent there are times that i will use like one of these shades especially this one or this one i will just swipe that on the eye a little mascara and i'm good to go um, I feel like these are beautiful when they're like really foiled and then also when you do a lighter wash of them if you don't want something so heavy you could either wear it like this or like this. I like that it looks good like a complete like full opaque layer and really soft kind of like a, a little ethereal layer over the top. These are one of those if you have not tried this formula from Flower Beauty I feel like it's definitely worth it. Flower Beauty goes on sale. Sometimes they'll have a sale at Ulta. Sometimes they'll have a sale on the Flower Beauty website. You don't always have to pay the price. I think these are close to $20, this and the Jungle Lights, but I have both of them. And I've been so impressed with the formula of these. You also get six very generously sized pans. You're getting a ton of product in here. Now, if you're the sort of person that doesn't wear sparkle on their own, you want a little matte with it, you could certainly pair this with something else. But this kind of more rosy toned color story is absolutely stunning. And it's really what I was craving. Last year in 2022, I picked up a lot of rose toned shadows, but this is one that went straight to the top and is still a favorite that I still love to reach for. But let's talk about these Alicia Eldridge eyeshadows. These are the two palettes that if I was thinking about all of the things in my collection, the ones that I would not want to be without, these are the two of them. This is the first one because this is like a party in a palette. This is the sorcery palette. Uh, chances are she's still out of stock. But oh my goodness, are these absolutely stunning and glorious. Um, you have one matte shadow in here and everything else has sparkle in it. Um, but I was like, I don't wear greens. I don't wear, like, look at this blue. What, why am I buying this? But let me tell you, there is something remarkable, astounding and beautiful about these and they look amazing. Here are the swatches. You get one matte and then you get the rest of these beautiful metallics. This one here is a really pretty duochrome. It has kind of like a lavender, almost, I don't know, you can see it's a little bit lavender, a little bit gold through here. This blue, I was like, I don't wear a blue eyeshadow. I wear this one. And these guys up here, they, they just steal my heart. I don't know why it is that I'm willing to wear these shades here when I normally don't wear blues and greens. And, and if I wear greens, it's usually not these shades of green. I don't know, there's something special about this. If I'm gonna get the longevity I want out of these where my eyeshadow looks the same as when I first put it on to when I come home from the end of a long work day, I'm gonna want an eyeshadow primer. 
if I don't put eyeshadow primer down, I get about six, six and a half hours before I get a little bit of creasing and fading. But for me, it's the fact that these blend so beautifully, the fact that these have no fallout. And, and look at look at these, like the colors, like this kind of chartreuse green shade here. This looks more emerald in the pan, but th there's something special about it. These guys down here, even this blue, I mean, they're just stunning. This is the sort of eyeshadow palette that I'm, when I want color, I go for this. This is amazing. Now, the other one that I love, I was sure I was gonna be going for one of the warm neutrals. And the truth is, this Vega palette has everything I want. There's something special about this palette. Do you see this black shade right here? Lisa's black eyeshadow is the perfect black eyeshadow for someone like me. When I have fair skin, I don't want it to get to be too much. And I find that when I put this eyeshadow on, I can deepen a look with it. It's another one of those that it looks beautiful when you like put something sparkly over the top. Sometimes I'll pull in this black with this palette right here if I want a little bit more depth and layering some of these sparklier shades over it, you get something completely different. It completely transforms. Um, but this palette here is exactly what my heart is longing for right now. I'm, I'm having a cool eyeshadow moment. And these Vega shades are stunning. These two more metallic shades in here are everything to me. But what I like about it is this is a little bit warmer. This shade here is a little bit cooler. This is called French Gray. It's amazing. I love pairing it with this. I love pairing it with this. Um, and this shade here in Lant Black is stunning. My favorite thing about this is you can, you can blend it out to be really sheer. I like that it can be kind of like a sheer wash of black or it can be like black black. I use this as liner. I love that there are four mattes in here and two metallics, but this is the sort of everyday eyeshadow palette that I lean on. And if you are in love with cool tones right now, this one I think is worth it. Out of Lisa's five eyeshadow palettes, the ones I get the most use out of are this one here in Vega, because it's a cool lover's dream. And then this one here in Sorcery, because it's kind of like, um, a, it, it is magical. It is a party in a palette. These are definitely the two that I'd want to keep if I were only able to keep 10 of them. These would be the two that I'd be like, these guys. These eyeshadows today are not in numerical order. Like my most favorite is gonna be number one. These are just the 10 that I love. But if I could have 11, this would be my next most reached for. And I love that you can still get it even though it was kind of like a limited edition thing. And it's this. This is the Tiny Marvels palette. It was a collaboration between Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace. Now, you may not know this, but Sydney Grace makes my favorite eyeshadow formula. I love Sydney Grace, and this tiny Marvels palette is just stunning. I love that we have some pastels in here. I love that we have some depth. I love that we have a ton of super sparkly shades, and the mattes in here are absolutely incredible. As I'm looking at these swatches, I realized I'm missing one. <laughs> I'm not sure which it is. There are 15 shades in here and I think I only have 14 here, but the mattes are beautiful. These metallics, I mean, look at how pigmented these are. This is the darkest shade. This is the lightest shade. You do have these more um, pastel shades on the end. This is, this is just full of a ton of options. You can go for something a little bit lighter. You can go for an all matte look. Um, you could go for something really dark. If you like hang out here on this end of the palette, you can take it really dark and really vampy. This is a beautiful palette and the formula is immaculate. I feel like this is a very different palette than a lot of what we're getting today because you have a wide range. It's not blacks and like creamy whites. You have depth, you have light, but you don't have like a carbon cookie cutter of what else there is. And I feel like these shades are just absolutely stunning. Again, one of my most reached for eyeshadow palettes and definitely my favorite eyeshadow formula. Most of what I've shown you up to this point has been very neutral. There've been a couple of colorful ones, but most of it has been very nude, very easy, very basic. And this one right here, this Mountain Trail eyeshadow palette is stunning. So this originally was released as a nine pan 
collection and it didn't come in this packaging this packaging was new for 2022 but i love that they're doing this it came first as a bundle with these nine shades in here and it's very gold and it's a very kind of a a warm green look like look 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 at this these are beautiful. I like that we have a lot of gold leaning shades in here. We have some straight up greens. We have some kind of khaki olives. We've got some interesting mustards and camels, but these two dark shades here are just stunning. Um, these are probably the first eyeshadows that I tried that had me head over heels and I'm still gaga for this formula. These are the original nine pans that I purchased in 2018. And I mean, and look at the pigment, you're still getting like insane pigment out of these. They perform beautifully. I find that Sydney Gray shadows last longer than um, the date they put on. I, th I don't know if it's 12 months or 24 months, but they last really well and they continue to perform excellently. All right, so what I love about this is we have a mixture of really bright golds and warm tones, and then we have some darker kind of earthy greens. And I never ever in my wildest dreams would have thought these shades would have been good on me, but they're stunning. And so when I'm wanting a more colorful look, this is the way that I'm willing to go. This is my colorful comfort zone, which is I think why I get along really well with the Lisa Eldridge Sorcery palette, because there's a lot of greens in there. But these are just beautiful. The formulas are incredible and they last all day. I don't need primer with this. I can put these on with my fingers. I can use a brush. They're just stunning. Love this formula so much, but these shades, ugh. Yes. I fell in love with this Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette this last spring. So this is the Major Dimensions 2 palette. It's the rose themed palette. I love this. This came out during last spring's Sephora sale. Let me just move this little guy here so you can see all the shades. You have two cream shades, you have five metallics and five mattes, and every single one of these is just amazing. I love. Now you can see my fingers have really been in these shades, especially these guys here towards the middle quite a lot. Um, I find that these mattes are really pigmented and I don't need to pick up a lot on my brush. These two right here are the cream shadows. All the mattes are along the bottom. This last kind of peachy one here is harder to see because it's closer to my skin tone. But the way that these metallics shine and shift, like Oh my goodness, these two here are the ones that I use the most. This one and this one, I felt like I was dealing with a little bit of hard pan because I wear them so much, but I love these. These are stunning, but you see that you have some warmth in here, some definite warmth in this area, warmth in here. You do have more rose tone themes in through here, but this eyeshadow palette gives you so much range. I find that I have exactly this sort of rosy without too pink. Um, it is, you know, golden and peachy without being too much. These shades are stunning. And what's great about these guys, I can use these on days when I, all I want to do is put um, a little bit of that down, kind of like an eyeshadow base. And then I'll tap a little bit of the um, sparkly color over the top and I'm out the door. Sometimes I will use that to build an entire look on where I'm using a myriad of shades in here. But these formulas are beautiful. I am not excited about the first Major Dimensions, the more warm toned neutrals palette. I think I've heard like a little bit of chit chat that Patrick is coming out with a third one of these. I would be really curious to try the third one. I'm not really interested in the first one, but this one is just one of my absolute favorites and I reach for it all the time. The last eyeshadow palette I have for you, I've had for a while. I think I've had it for three years. And I love it as much now as I did when I first got it and it's still in regular rotation and I couldn't live without it. And it's this, this is the Enduring Love palette from Sydney Grace. They have redesigned this a couple of times. This here is the light version. What's really great about Sydney Grace is they come out with a color story and they realize not all of the shades in here are gonna fit every skin tone. So they do two versions, they do a light and a deep. And so in the deep version, some of these shades here are different. I love that. But a lot of the rest of the shades are exactly the same. They'll just change those mid-tone or lighter shades to be appropriate for whatever skin tone you have, light or richer skin tones. You can tell <laughs> how much I fit in here. My fingers are forever in this. I love it. Let me swatch this for you. The first row, 
This metallic at the end is really pretty. The middle row, I'm really impressed with this shade right here. It's not really black, it's like a deep charcoal. Even that kind of blue on the end is stunning. This one is hard to see. It's more like an old gold on the end, but you have some warmth with this brown and this kind of peach shade. You have some definite cool tones right in through here, this more pewter leaning silver. You have some really beautiful light shades and some of these pressed pigments, I mean, look at this. Is that not stunning? I reach for this so much, even though I've had it for three years. It's, it's never been one of those that has been kind of like, oh, well, it's been a while. I'm not that interested in it anymore. No, 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 no. Every time I see this, I'm inspired. Every time I open it, I get a beautiful look. Quality is still amazing. Um, they have changed some things about it. It no longer comes in this metallic packaging. It now comes in cardboard packaging like this, like the rest of their palettes like this. The other thing that they made a recent change to, I saw on their Instagram at the beginning of this month, was that um, they have a little bit of old stock of this palette with the square pans, but they are moving it to round pans, um, like the rest of their eyeshadow palettes come in round pans. So that's gonna be an update. So you will see this, the formulas are the same, the shades are the same, the packaging will be different, but these are the 10 palettes I don't think I would be able to let go of, or if something happened in my entire eyeshadow collection went bye-bye, these would be the 10 that I would instantly run out and be like, I need it again. I need it again, it's just that good. I would love to know what eyeshadow palettes in your collection are the ones you could not do without? What are the ones that when you think of, okay, if I had to start from scratch, what's the first one or two that I would buy? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'll also leave in the description box my previous, if I could only keep 10, it's lipstick. <laughs> um, I will leave that down there for you as well. And let me know if you want to see me do cheek products or base products next. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon.